giving a bag of socks doesn't cost a lot of money, but it can mean a whole lot to somebody who maybe has to walk everywhere they go, can't afford a taxi, you know, maybe can afford bus fare, maybe not, but they have to walk a lot. They need that access to, to a job, and those the comfortable pair of socks on their feet really does make a difference. My name is Vic Turner, and I am the co-founder and senior vice president for Hannah Socks. My wife Doris and I, um, at the time the Hannah Socks began, we had six uh, children that we had adopted, and so we knew it was definitely important for us to teach our children how to be compassionate, care about other people, uh, and, and to accept the responsibilities of being a good citizen. Um, so we decided to take our three oldest to the Cherry Street Mission in Toledo, Ohio. Me and my mom were going to give people food and we were waiting in line, in line and I saw this guy with torn up shoes and holes in his socks. Um, I was thinking that, that I could give him my socks. My mom said, Hannah, what are you doing? And I said, Mom, I'm going to give the man my socks. What happened was the next day, Doris and Hannah went and bought 100 pairs of socks and donated them to Cherry Street. And we just thought, well, we did our good deed. You know, our kids learned a good lesson. We're happy with that. Until 2005, Thanksgiving rolled around and Hannah tugged on Doris's sleeve again and said, Mommy, I think that man needs some more socks. We started collecting socks and giving them to the homeless people. Once a whole bunch of people heard about it, they started giving us socks. I thought that it could get bigger. And so 2007, we officially became a charity, a registered charity with the tax-exempt status that came in. And so we opened up our, an office in our own home and just decided, okay, we're going to do more ask people to give socks and we started to give raise socks and raise money and it turned out that the need was greater than we could have possibly imagined. It grew on its own and Hannah began, because she was so young, began to get noticed uh, from you know people around the community, began to get some recognition, some public notice and awards and, and it just, you know, since then we've, we've given away hundreds of thousands of pairs of socks, not just here but um, in organizations in Michigan, Kentucky, um, other places around the country, um, and even beyond. Well, we're doing by boys, little boys, and then like big boys, little girls, infant babies, and men's and ladies' socks. And so we set them up in bags, and our, some of our volunteers or myself, we deliver them to the organizations in question. Out to the people that need them. Just knowing that something as simple as a pair of socks could just seem to like bring a smile to their face and know that just something so simple that obviously was a need because the line would just be extending out, that we were able to help meet that simple need that others, like I said, I take for granted, others take for granted, just really felt right to be knowing that I was helping in that area of somebody's life. Well, I'm raising two boys by myself, so, and you know boys, they can go through some socks. Every morning before school, Mom, do you have a pair of socks? Or do you know what I did with my socks? So this helped a lot. Because I couldn't afford the socks I'm getting. They're going to need socks for school, and they're going to need them. It's cold out here. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. And I, I just feel like for whatever reason, uh, this is the one thing that it kind of landed in our laps unexpectedly. <laughs> Not really what you're planning for your, your four-year-old daughter to notice a homeless man with no socks. But out of that has grown something that has really touched a lot of lives and has been a real blessing to us as well.